I've been playing with Aja how long? And I just had a psychological realization. We're going to the Yannix. Uh, the, the, the four heroes. Um, legacy. The legacy. You know, the four guys. Lin Dan. <laughs> Li Changwei. What do they call that thing? Anyway, I'll look it up. But uh, that's today's competition. What's the deal with this competition? It's a Yannix, the uh, Legends, that's what it's called, the Legends Vision. I know there was a limit of 500 people that could enter this competition. I don't know how many actually entered, but this place is packed. I have never been here before. We are in the B group for mixed doubles. We have something like 14 or 16 teams. Um, our small group, we have four, so that means we have to win two games to continue. But if you've seen any of my recent videos, you know we have very little hope of winning two out of three games. Especially because this is a big competition, so like the really good players are playing in this one. Going in not optimistic today. Just here to have some fun, right? And we got some shirts and a goodie bag. I want to look in my bag, see what we got. actually a very nice court. I've never been here, but I can tell it's very good quality. Because it's the Yonix competition, we have to wear Yonix clothes on the court, so they gave us a free shirt, but um, we have our couple's dinosaur shirts that's Yonix, so that's what we're gonna be wearing today. Easy to find my name, because you got my Chinese and English name. So my name is Tiny. Thank God we're in the corner, like no one from the main area can see us over here, so very happy. <laughs> Look at this awesome fake Yonix brand someone has. Okay, here we go. It's one 31 point game. No points added. I don't know our opponents. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> This game is a total mess and an embarrassment to watch. 
<laughs> they were obviously better than us, but we also, I don't know, we didn't warm up properly or we just, we just weren't in our groove. We weren't in our normal gameplay. So we made a lot of silly mistakes, which for me, that's fine. Cause I'm all Zen about badminton competitions right now. But Aja got really frustrated. He kept, you know, hitting it into the net or hitting it out or missing it, even though he was in proper position. And when you get frustrated, first you're frustrated at yourself. And what do you do? You take it out on other people, which was me. Now, I don't take very well to criticism during a competition, especially if I disagree with it. So then Aja started saying like, well, you should go there, you should go there. And I'm like, I'm doing what I'm doing. Like, shoulda, woulda, coulda. It's in the past, you know? <laughs> like, I'm playing as best as I can in the moment. So then I started to get really mad at him. This attitude, of course, carried off into our second game. <laughs> and this game, actually, I'm really glad I have a video of it because in our minds at the time, we played really badly. But actually watching the video, we did much better than I thought we did. And actually, we had a real chance to win. It was just our poor attitude that lost it for us, I think. And I was getting really mad that he was mad because his mistakes were normal. Like, hitting into the net, is a normal problem. Hitting it out is a normal problem. Like, he wasn't playing especially bad. We weren't doing anything out of the ordinary. It was just normal stuff. So why get so frustrated at just kind of common mistakes? Yeah, fix it later, but it's just normal stuff, you know? It wasn't like he was running the wrong direction and it wasn't like he suddenly had no thoughts about how to play badminton. It was just, he just made simple mistakes that everybody makes, even the pro players. So that's what got me really mad. I was like, stop getting mad at your simple mistakes. between the the second and third game we had a little bit of a break and I thought I took a video but apparently I only took this photo because <laughs> I'm a genius but Aj and I had a little fight during the games so I was saying don't get mad at yourself when you make a simple mistake like hitting into the net or hitting it out don't get so frustrated at yourself it's totally normal we are amateur players I'm sick, I can't move around a lot, so I rely on him a lot more than 
a doubles game normally would. So it's totally perfectly fine for him to make some common mistakes. I said, just don't get frustrated at them because when you're getting frustrated at them, then you get frustrated at me. And when you like criticize me, then I'm going to get really mad and I'm not going to play well. He understood. He, he said, yeah, you know, after we fought for a minute. So we went into the third game, a much better team, much happier, and we were way better than our opponents. So this game, even when we made silly little mistakes, there was encouragement, not criticism. And the final game, we killed them, and we had a lot of fun. I mean, winning's always fun, but you know. Yay, we won our last game. You know, feels good to win a game, even if we can't continue. And that was fun, you know? Losing isn't fun if you're mad, and I gotta get used to losing, so might as well have fun losing. See you guys next time on the court. Bye.